Heads up! Because on this episode of World Twilight Gopher, we're headed to New Jersey, and we'll be looking at McCullough's Emerald Gofflinks. Now, this is a public 18-hole golf course that's located in Egg Harbor Township in New Jersey. There's a lot to like about this golf course here that's only about 20-minute drive from Atlantic City. And the course plays a par 71 in about 6,600 yards. Now, it's tributed to the famed European courses such as St. Andrews, and there is a lot of wind on this golf course. That used to be a public dump. And you can see by the vents on the left-hand side that this used to be an old city dump until architect Stefan K transformed this old city dump into an affordable 6,535-yard 18-hole golf course. Now, this decade-long project to build McCullough's was started by city mayor James Sonny McCullough. Uh, and finally came into fruition in 2002. K is quoted saying that this is one of the hardest projects they ever faced with the logistical challenge throughout the way, rooting out uh, trees and greens, more than 150 methane gas vents like the ones you saw earlier in the video. And K is even quoted using 400,000 cubic yards of dirt. And you could tell in this golf course there is some elevation and plenty of blind spots. Now there's about a hundred feet of elevation to play with when Kay was designing this course and you could tell by 11 and 12 holes that climb up to the highest point and views of the Atlantic City skyline. And as regards to the price of the golf course, you definitely get what you pay for it, but it is a little expensive course. It's about $100 to play in the summer, maybe a little bit over that, about $100, $120. But their price model is based on adjusting greens and real uh, time demand for the, the golf course so uh, we might have just been at a bad time um, it looked like there's some rates in the afternoon that were pretty reasonable that went up to about uh, 50 bucks so it's a, you know you get what you pay for it's a beautiful golf course you can tell that they put money into the course as of recently um, it wasn't this nice um, when it first opened or at least a couple years after it opened although it was ranked a top 35 new United States public golf courses to open in 2000 so it really was a nice golf course by golf magazine um, and then uh, top two US municipal courses uh, open to the public in 2002 which is a weird statistic but that's on the golf cart um, if you end up playing there you'll end up seeing that uh, a great golf course nonetheless and probably the coolest part about the course is the the scorecard if you look on the scorecard, each one of the holes is mirrored off or is a tribute to a famous European hole, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. And I can go ahead and show that again, but I'm not going to. Uh, it's earlier in the video. And quite frankly, you're going to have to go out there and play it. It's a really reasonable golf course for the price. If you're going out into Atlantic City and you're looking to play some golf, uh, this is going to be the golf course to pick, I think. It's the type of place you could show up super hung over to this course. And, and here's another hole where elevation drastic you know you're popping a part it's a par three and if you miss it you're gonna fly right into those trees over there into the water and here's another cool water right on the left hand side and i know the person i played with he put two in the water there and then put one on the street this golf course can be pretty challenging for most players uh some of the par fives it, it's reachable into it you know it only plays six thousand five hundred yards from the back tees but the greens are pretty challenging, and if you get into any of this mess right here on the back three holes, uh, if you looked on Google Maps on the back three holes, it gets messy. And this is the final hole here, and this is one of my favorite holes. It brings you right to the clubhouse, which has Vagabonds, which is great. It's a great restaurant that they have there. But you can hit a drive into Vagabonds if you hit bombs. If you hit a 300... 310 yard drive you're gonna hit vagabonds so you're gonna to have to hit a five iron and i hit a five iron and i topped it and i lost the round because of that this golf course again is challenging it's a fun golf course it's on a dump it doesn't feel like a dump but you're on a dump and let's let's be real so it's pretty cool that they were able to do something like this on the golf course and hopefully we'll see more golf courses come like this and that's gonna do it for this video keep a lookout for more videos to come heads up this is World Twilight Gopher.